herniated disc is an orthopedic disease look at these pictures lumbar spine shows that x-ray findings ct findings and mri look at this detail going on introduction a herniated disc often refers to as a slipped ruptured or prolapsed disc occurs when the gel like center of a disc pushes out through a tear in the disc's outer layer this can lead to pressure on nearby nerves resulting in pain numbness herniated disc can happen anywhere all the spine but are most common in the lumbar and cervical regions definition a herniated disc also known as a slipped or ruptured disc is a condition by a part of a disc in the spine moves out of its normal position potentially compression now roots or the spinal cord types one cervical herniated disc occurred in the neck region causing neck pain and radiating symptoms in the arms two thoracic herniated disc rare occurring in the mid back and often causing pain in the chest or abdomen three lumbar herniated disc the most common type occurred in the lower back causing symptoms in the lower body including leg causes one age related degeneration the disc naturally loses hydration and elasticity with age making them more prone to rupture to trauma or injury sudden trauma from accidents or heavy lifting can cause a disc to herniated three repetitive motion frequent bending twisting or lifting can put stress on the spine for poor position sitting for long period or incorrect position during physical activities can increase stress on the spine risk factors one age middle age adult 30 to 50 years are more susceptible due to disc degeneration to obesity excess weight places additional stress on the spine 
three occupation jobs requiring heavy lifting twisting or repetitive motions can increase the risk for genetics a family history of disc herniation can predispose individuals to the condition 5 sedentary lifestyle lack of physical activity can weaken spinal support muscles six smoking smoking decreases oxygen flow to the disc accelerating degeneration complications chronic pain if left untreated herniated disc can lead to long lasting pain to nerve damage prolonged compression of nerves can cause permanent damage leading to numbness or weakness three quadra equina syndrome a rare but serious complication where the nerve roots in the lower back become compressed leading to bowel or bladder dysfunction and lower extremity paralysis it is a medical emergency pathophysiology the intervertebral disc serves shock absorbed between vertebrae over time wear and tear or injury can weaken the annulus fibers when this outer layer tears or rupture the nucleus pulpus or inner gel can protrude crossing on spinal nerves or the spinal cord this pressure can cause inflammation and now irritation leading to pain or other neurological symptoms depending on the affected nerve roots The pathophysiology of herniated disc involves several sequential steps leading to nerve compression and associated symptoms. Here is step by step breakdown. One disc degeneration, aging or repetitive stress. to annulus fibrosus tear tear or rupture 3 nucleus pulposus herniation nucleus pulposus hole now compression pressure on spinal nerves five inflammatory response inflammatory process six symptoms manifestations depending on the location of the herniated disc symptoms will vary in cervical disc herniation affects the neck and arms Lumbar disc herniation affects the lower back and legs. This step boys 
process explains how a herniated disc progresses from disc degeneration to the manifestation of symptoms like pain, numbness and weakness. Signs and symptoms 1. Pain localized in the neck, back or radiating down arm or legs. 2. Numbness or tingling, sensory nerves affected by compression may cause numbness or tingling in the affected area. 3. Weakness. Compression of motor nerves can lead to weakness in muscles, particularly in the arms or legs. 4. Loss of reflexes. A decrease in reflexes, particularly in the knee or ankle. 5. Sciatica. Pain radiating down the leg, often caused by a lumbar herniated disc compressing the sciatic nerve. Diagnosis 1. Physical examinations A doctor will check for symptoms like pain, numbness and muscle weakness. 2. Neurological examinations Test of reflexes, muscle strength and sensation. Imaging test on X-rays can rule out other causes of pain but may not so a herniated disc. 2. MRI magnetic resonance imaging the best test for visualizing soft tissue such as herniated disc and compressed nerves. 3. CT scan can provide detailed cross-sectional images of the spine. 4. Myelogram involves injecting dye into the spinal fluid to view now compression on imaging. Nursing diagnosis a acute pain related to nerve compression to impaired physical mobility due to pain and discomfort. 3. Risk for impaired skin integrity related to immobility. 4. Deficient knowledge regarding conditions and self-care management. 5. Anxiety related to chronic pain or surgical interventions. Management Conservative management Rest Short period of bed rest can help reduce inflammation. Physical therapy increases to strengthen the back and embryo posture. Medications 1. Non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs for pain and inflammation to muscle relaxants for muscle spasms. 3. Steroids. Corticosteroids can be injected to reduce inflammation around the nerves. For heat and cold therapy, ice packs reduce inflammation while heat promotes healing. Surgical management 1. Discectomy Surgical removal of the herniated part of the disc. Laminectomy Removal of a portion of the vertebrae to relieve pressure. 3. Spinal fusion 
fusing two or more vertebrate to prevent motion that causes pain treatment one physical therapy two medications non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen reducing pain and inflammation muscle relaxants to relieve muscle spasms steroid injections to reduce inflammation and pain around the nerve roots three rest and activity modification for surgical intervention psychosocial medicine living with herniated disc can have significant psychological and social impacts chronic pain can lead to depression anxiety and social isolation psychological support and counseling a group therapy can help patients manage the emotional and mental challenges of living with condition family and social support are also vital for coping and recovery prevention one proper lifting techniques bend from the knees not the wrist when lifting heavy objects to regular exercise strengthening core muscles can reduce strain on the spine three good posture maintain a proper posture especially while sitting or standing for prolonged periods for healthy weight keeping a healthy weight reduces stress on the spine five avoid smoking smoking can accelerate disc degeneration in conclusion a herniated disc is a common and sometimes debilitating condition that results from damage to the intervertebral disc with proper diagnosis and management many individuals can recover fully or significantly improve their symptoms a combination of lifestyle changes conservative treatments and in some cases surgery offers relief and embrace the quality of life prevention strategies such as maintaining good posture regular exercise and proper lifting techniques are crucial in reducing the risk of developing a herniated disc thank you have a nice day